Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today I will be talking about some peripherals out of the Camus ecosystem. First up is the Camus CP5 Boost Kit, which is an add-on for the CP5 pedals and contains a modification for the standard brake and accelerator pedal. It comes in at 20 USD on top of the 79 USD of the standard CP5 pedals. The installation procedure is very simple and will take only 5 minutes in all to complete. The throttle modification is basically a larger tube to go around the standard one in order to decrease the amount of travel of the accelerator when pushed. For the brake, the kit consists of a holder and a piece of eraser that you can put in the holder. This will increase resistance when it comes into contact with the pedal. It is a very easy principle. The eraser can be put in both directions to add a bit more or less resistance. So when I first reviewed these pedals, well, I wasn't over the moon with them. Huh? Um, they are basic pedals, so that's something that I need to keep into my mind. And for basic pedals, they're not bad because, well, they are made out of metal. They measure pretty well, so they have hall sensors in them as well, which measures the force pretty good. But the problem I had with it was that the brake and the accelerator, they felt pretty much the same. And I gave this uh, feedback to Camus, and probably also other people gave this feedback to Camus. And what they did is they brought out a piece, uh, an add-on actually for these pedals, which makes it a bit harder f to get to the maximum 100% braking force power. It is a bit the same principle as with Thrustmaster, the T3PA pedals, where they included the cone. Um, and I just recently got this upgrade to test. So, after finally installing the add-on, recalibrating the pedals, I'm back on the track. And yes, it is a big difference. Finally, the accelerator and the brake, they don't feel the same anymore and I am so happy. It's really amazing how such small details can add to the immersion of driving and lift the entire value of a pedal kit. Apart from the load cell, the stiffness or lack of is one of the main things I look at when reviewing pedal sets. So, I do have to say that the, uh, the cone that they used, so the rubber that they used for the, um, for the stopper, it might have be, I, it, it could be a bit harder for my taste. I still get to 100% very easy. So that is something perhaps that they could uh, they could perhaps include a second piece of rubber which is a bit harder. The sensation when pushing the throttle didn't change all that much. For me personally, the extra tube might even be a bit thicker and perhaps with a thin durable rubber coating to improve the feeling of immersion. Towards the future, they will bring out this mod in the new um, C5 pedals. But again, then the cost of the pedals will um, augment also just a bit. Another add-on that uh, Camus has released recently is this rectangular steering wheel. As you all know, the C12 doesn't have a quick release, so they opted to bring out a frame that you can replace the standard steering wheel with. The installation of it is quite simple. You bolt off the old steering wheel and you bolt on the new steering wheel. Let's say that it takes you five minutes to do so. But at least now we have the possibility to have another shape than uh, than around on RC12s. The fabric that they used for the grips is uh, some sort of very hard rubber. The grip of it is pretty good. The buttons are within reach also, always very important. 
I can still reach them very easily. I don't have a feeling that I that I that it's sticky. So sometimes you have it that the rubber is very sticky, but it's not the case here. It feels rather uh, whoop, uh, it feels rather cool. Well, yeah, I think also that it is. Uh, this is a very very nice addition to the. Uh, to the add-on pool for the C12. Not sure what more steering wheels that uh, we will see from them. Perhaps uh, one in Alcantara because that is also preferred by uh, by certain people. No, very nice, uh, very nice frame. The Camus GTR steering wheel comes in at 49 US dollars, which again seems a very democratic price. For driving GT cars and F1 cars, there is certainly an added value for this type of frame. So Camus brought out the C5 and the C12, which are very good bases, and now starting to um, look at the ecosystem around it, which is really a good thing. I'm happy that they brought out a new steering wheel frame for the C12, and I would also really like to see uh, something come out for the C5, because yeah, if I look at the reactions that I get on my C5 review, most of them are about, yeah, that it is not aesthetically pleasing enough. So I hope that perhaps towards the future that we can see some more um, uh, peripherals, uh, some more add-ons for the C5 too. My collaboration with Camus also means that I have access to vouchers to share with you. The continuous voucher Neosphinx gives you a 5% reduction when buying new hardware and the special code SDR15 will give you a reduction of 15% but is only valid for 3 days starting at when this review is published. There may be similar vouchers available in the near future and as always I will keep you informed of this. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will see you all next one. Bye bye.